have about, uh, altogether, about 500 acres of walnuts that are uh, in some form of production. Some are little baby trees and others are as much as 105 years old. We also process about 3,000 acres of walnuts every year. Cover crops perform multiple functions. They're not just one thing that they do. Uh, they perform the function of bringing in beneficial insects. They fix atmospheric nitrogen and put it into the soil to fertilize our trees. Thick cover crop like this, because it is a legume, or because they all are legumes, um, can actually fix a lot of atmospheric nitrogen and put it into the soil and make it available to our trees. Because we don't use organophosphates, that, enc that encourages raptors to have nests in our orchards and have babies and continue the control of our rodent population by just sheer populations of raptors. So we're inside one of our freezers, which is how we control the insects after the walnuts are harvested. This is what they look like after they're harvested, and this is the final product before they are actually shelled. Integrated pest management uses biological and physical techniques based on pest life cycles to make it difficult for pests to survive. The IPM Innovator Awards promote reduced risk pest management strategies for schools, farms, and the environment. IPM is something we've been practicing for over 20 years. It really goes back to the, the traditions and the founders of our company who really believed in sustainability, and sustainable wine growing and wine making. And IPM is a core, core uh, pillar of that foundation. It really supports everything that we do. In wine grapes, birds are, are quite a pest. They can really reduce your crop level and really cause uh, some quality issues. We came up with an in-vineyard solution where we use falcons to scare the birds out of the, out of the vineyard. So it was, it was kind of challenging to get that all going, but once we got it going, we found out that we saved money and we're making higher quality wines, which is what it's all about in, in IPM and sustainability. Mites are always a problem. That's where we, we release predaceous mites. We're very careful about materials we use for, for mites. Biggest pest, it's a more of a disease, is powdery mildew. And powdery mildew gets into the clusters and can really impact the uh, quality of a wine. So all those things are very, very critical to uh, IPM management to integrate your whole pest and disease control program. We grow a cover crop here and we, we plant it or we try to plant it with natural grasses and it grows up through the winter and then we'll cut it down in the springtime and we're returning organic matter back into the soil if we have to spray a material here, we're doing more rows at a time, so we're eliminating tractor passes through the vineyards, we're saving on fuel, we're saving on carbon emissions, all the, you know, those are all good things. As we educate our workers in IPM, IPM practices, because actually those are the folks that are doing the work, and they're helping us make the quality wines that we make here. We found that using measures like IPM, we're actually getting better quality wine, so better quality wine is what we really want to do. So it's better for our ground, it's better for the vines, it's allowing us to make uh, great wines and we're going to be able to do it for more generations. Since 1994, DPR has honored 133 recipients for their contributions to IPM. Nominations for the IPM Innovator Awards can be submitted year-round.